trouble with math yourself uh, cool. no I was actually pretty good at math but I think this would have made me like math a lot more not every day I get to spend that kind of money that's is it? right <laughs> <laughs> it's fun to take all the hot guys <laughs> it's fun to get involved with my cousin uh -huh. Yeah, he, he's The time proud. together, you can't beat it. Quality time. <laughs> God bless. <laughs> and then, uh, how about um, San Diego for the other defense? Like at least three, four million more. <laughs> So how do you think it went? I think it went great. And the kids were having fun. That's the main thing. That was excellent. I really appreciate what you've been doing. She told me she's been going there. Really appreciate this. All right. Thank, thank you for coming in. What do you like about this? I mean, I like everything about me being around my daughter because I haven't been around her for like 18 months due to the Hurricane Katrina and Rita. Uh -huh. And I just found out where they were. And right now, I just really love it. You know, because me being a guy, a man, and my daughter being a girl, we can't, it's not like we sit down and talk about football. And now we both got something in common to talk about. And I'm really loving this. It's really, I really I like this. How'd you like it? It's great. Your father's helping you out? That's cool. That's a cool. Lot. So, uh, it's really a football thing. Cause that's what I look for, just to fantasy football. Any other day, I just probably want to go to sleep. I really used fantasy football initially as the hook to keep them engaged, um, but give them a variety of something to do. And then they looked forward to it. Um, I hardly have any absences on fantasy football day. They think they're playing, they don't think they're mathing, and they, that's always what they like to do is play. And it really has worked very well. Oh yeah. Let it all just throw you. You get to slam on them haters like your name Vince Carter. Vince Carter was slam on you. Shaq was slam on you. Yao Ming was slam on you. All you do is run down the field and kick it into the goal. No, you don't. No, you don't. Okay, that's all you do is jump down the court and put it in the basket. Soccer. Oh, give me the basketball. Okay, I touched soccer. Fantasy basketball. It's fantasy basketball. <laughs> Crazy. It's about basketball. So on a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate your enjoyment of mathematics before you started fantasy football? Negative 10. Oh, negative 10? <laughs> Math seven. always put me to sleep. Okay. Okay. And what would... Six or seven. Six or seven. And now what would you rate it? Like a nine. Nine and a half. A nine, nine and a half. Okay. Yeah. Same. How would you rate your enjoyment of mathematics before you started fantasy football? Negative four. Negative four, okay. <laughs> Probably zero. Zero. I and hate how? Math. You hate, okay, so what about now? With fantasy football, what would you rate it? On fantasy football, they usually give like an eight. Yeah. Okay. Eight, nine. I'd like you to write down the formula one eight, open parentheses, T, close parentheses, and the rest of it, just like you see here on the board. We want to review what each of those variables represents so that we know what we're calculating when we get our stat sheets. Austin, as the winner of the first annual National Fantasy Football Contest, I would like to present you with this trophy. Well done. Thank you. Oh. Austin.
Austin, how did you feel when you first heard that you won the national contest? Well, at first I didn't know that it was actually, I actually won, I thought I was in third, top three. So when someone, one of my friends told me, it was really exciting. Adrian Peterson was sort of a surprise. You know, I'd seen him play a couple times in college and thought he was a pretty good player. So he was a rookie player that kind of was a, a bargain for us. So to take a training tool, a fun thing like this, and teach is the best thing that they could do in the schools. One of the things that, you know, as we were growing up as kids, is people said, ah, we'll never use this math, we'll never use that math. It's, it's a good way to show a practical application for uh, for math and uh, in your everyday life and in something even that's a, a little bit more entertaining. So I think it's a great idea. Were there any surprises along the way? Anything that surprised you about how his team was doing from week to week? That he was beating his teacher. <laughs> <laughs> it was fun to see him succeed and it was fun to see him get excited and uh, between the two of these guys always talking to one another about how well the teams did and as we flip channels we stop and pause and watch the games and and see how our team is doing and so it was great to see these two bond in something that they um, took time to talk about every week at least and then to see the report so it was a good time for the family you know the parents who are involved and and uh, interested in what their kids are learning in class those kids tend to do better so anytime that they know what's going on in class and they have something they can talk to the kids about, it's something that's going to help the kids achieve. Are there any other fantasy sports you would like to try? Definitely, Definitely soccer. soccer. Why soccer? Um, I've been playing soccer since I was five, and both I have a brother and a sister. They're both big soccer fans, and so it's just kind of like a family sport. I either choose soccer or baseball because my grandpa played for the Beavers. And so he's a big baseball fan, and my dad's a big baseball fan. I enjoy watching it. We had uh, last year a uh, news broadcaster from the local area come and he talked to our kids, and that was put out there to the local public. And I'd go walking around to basketball games or go watch uh, track meets, and kids from other schools would walk up and say, man, I wish I was in your class. I saw you on TV, and that sure looked like a lot of fun. So that was really good to hear you know, that we're doing good stuff out here. When I think about exceptional opportunities for kids, the recipe sounds like exceptional teachers combined with truly engaging curriculum. And I was talking with uh, a student earlier today, Hannah, and she was explaining to me in particular that Mr. Thompson's class is so fun. She has so much fun. And I'd asked her the question, what do you think makes kids want to go to school? We were talking about attendance and when kids choose maybe not to go to school, and she said it's when the teachers are doing something that's really fun. As educators, we know that that trajectory towards dropout can only be corrected in mid-course when we provide reasons for kids to come to school, and this is one of them. And, you know, I think the biggest thing that teachers have is like, oh, how will this be looked at, you know, by parents or by staff? And everything out here has been positive. Parents have been positive. The administration's been positive. The public's been positive. And the kids are learning. So, I mean, there's, there's really no risk involved as far as I'm concerned. We're sitting here with a, an evolution in teaching that's using the Internet. It's using innovative teaching techniques. It's using professional sport. It's using play theory. It's using fun, it's using the ability to stick around with friends, and we're putting it all together in a pot. Dan poured out the pot and has something that works well.